so we've got our apo down to uh looks like 16 that's pretty good we can live with that um and so now we're gonna wait till apo burn pro grade and raise that parry breaking more time just to just to see if I could have lowered it enough without going too far. Um but yeah, I just didn't want to risk the whole situation of ending up crashing to the side of the planet um, repeatedly. So what happens most of the time I attempt things like this. So I'm just going to try to almost there.
not really gonna matter. And you know what? We're right next to the descending note, so we can actually go. Basically, that I have to burn north. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna do this now since I'm like right here, and technically, I guess technically it would be more efficient to do it closer to the. Ugh, I always get confused about that. Whether it takes less to change. Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. A hundred so meters per second change is uh, pretty trivial in the grand scheme of things. So let's just uh, two, one, stop. Or go a little bit more and then stop and then go. there. And now we just need to bring that down to... Oh, ooh, there was an encounter right there. Like, a good one. No? Maybe not. No, not quite. But, you know, pretty good. Well, we don't want to be too close or else we'll never... We'll never meet. Alright, well, basically, okay, let's just go. That's gonna be west when we get there. <sighs> Maybe. It should be. Whoa, stop. Ah, we overshot. That sucks. Well, let's just go around again. Is there anything to go around again? problem with this design is you end up with this uh, really ungainly, really top-heavy thing once the fuel gets all out of it, and it's really hard to maneuver. It would be better to, like, build out rather than, I don't know. Alright, stop. It's also really easy to get going in a weird spin.
3635, so maybe 30 seconds here. Sorry, just gotta concentrate. There's numbers in the way. Seven. Ten. Okay. Darn it. Ten is perfect. Six. Oh. Three. Oh, God. Darn it. Okay. Two. I can work with that. That's fine. Until I get to that point right there. Like six seconds or something. Yeah, and then just burn that off. It's really not necessary. I mean, I could wait until the arches lined up correctly. Try to do this a little quickly.
it's like as soon as you make... I don't get that. It is one thing that about the maneuver node system that I do not understand is when you somehow making the node affects the intercept points. I do not for the life of me understand why. Okay, I'm just gonna try to wing this. See, this is what I'm talking about, why the docking does not go good for me. Because I try to do this sort of shit. And, uh... Okay. So I am going to... How far is that? Eight minutes? see this. And when I get there, I'm probably going to run. Boy. <laughs> okay. So theoretically, I know how to do this. In actuality, I don't. Just jettison all this stuff. I won't 
really think I had 113 fuel is not really that important, but we'll try to keep it if we can. Very, very quickly running out of mono propellant. That was really not good. So let's just ditch it. This is not making my life easier. trying to burn towards it and once I get close enough okay so there's the docking thing that doesn't help so low. We might not be able to do this. So close, so close. Come on. Yes! All right. Okay, I will take that. Woohoo, lights on. <laughs> that looks terrible. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I like the way it's like artifacting all over the place and stuff. It's good. Okay. Ugh. Man. 
how much mono prop. Yeah, we've barely had any left, man. Oh, it's a good thing this thing has plenty of RCS, because Jesus. It's a shame we also had to ditch that fuel stage, because it would be really nice to get a big old fuel tank up here, but... Uh, once 0.23 comes out, you'll be able to actually tweak the amount of fuel in your launch vehicles and stuff. You'll be able to tweak the amount of fuel you have in each tank in the vehicle assembly building, so you could actually launch an empty tank. Um, which really, what you could also do is just set up your rocket so that, well, it would be really hard to calculate the exact amount you would need, so you ended up here with an empty tank. Um, but I'm sure someone out there will, you know, they know how to, people will know how to do that, that are better than me. Alright, well, um, <laughs> sorry for the really, really long and kind of an interesting video. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a space station in progress. Um, I think next I will actually launch some kind of manned, manned vessel, perhaps, or maybe another one of these. Um, yeah, maybe I'll launch a second one of these to make it symmetrical on each side if, you know, maybe minus the launch, or the, bleh, the interstellar drive on the back, or maybe I can just make the interstellar drive smaller and actually add RCS onto it, and then maybe I can dock it with this. I think the key might be just to make it a little bit smaller, have lots of RCS, just tons of it, and maybe I can dock it with this, and then I'll have like a a huge fuel storage capacity uh, on the space shuttle or space station. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.